Hello, hello, welcome to Reinfused. Uh, yeah, a bit of a an off camber video and off angle video, obviously. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we received some parcels, so um, one from uh, what we ordered ourselves from Japan, and the other one from a subscriber. So we figured we'd do an unboxing. We normally do these live, but ill health has kind of stopped us from really being able to do that decently. So we're just going to do a recorded one instead. So it'd be nice to open it anyway. We haven't done a proper, like, well, proper. We haven't done a recorded unboxing for a while, so yeah, it should be fun. <laughs> Right, yeah, I know. <laughs> Most of the table was full of Sharp X1 because uh, we're still kind of doing stuff on that and uh, until I get the case on, I'm not really going to put it away. But we still got plenty of room for this. So uh, first of all, we're going to do the Japanese parcel. So this is what we bought ourselves. Uh, I know what this is, just for once. <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll quickly un unbox it and uh, not so much back because I'll be making a V of it soon. Right, so uh, yeah, this is a rather special <laughs> computer. Um, again, I won't say too much about it because I will be doing a video on it, although you can always look it up, I guess. Um, yeah, I think it'll be quite an interesting video, actually. Now, as far as I can tell, this does work, at least based on the auction. It doesn't like it's been bashed up during transit, so that should be fun. There are a couple of things in there, but they're all the same lot. So there's an envelope here which then uh, some paper and what's in here oh, uh, I think more paper just a special card stock and this one ah there we go dropped it Yeah, so there's the manual, and we got a composite cable. Doesn't look terrible quality, so maybe I'll use it. Although I did notice it's got a scart port on the back, which is unusual. <laughs> but again, this is a very unusual machine, so it'll be really fun to look at. Right, anyway, let's get on to the other box. <sighs> this box came from Pete Golding, who is uh, one of our subscribers. Uh, and even though it's about a quarter the size of the other box, it weighs about the same, so it should be interesting. I know a couple of things that are in here, but I don't know everything. I kept some of it a secret, so. Right. Oh, blimey, that's a heavy duty scar cable. That's, um, that's pretty heavy on its own. <laughs> wow, maybe I'll try that out with the MSX machine. After I make sure it doesn't do anything weird, of course. Catron Stealth. Well, I would say a Spectrum era one because it's got dual compa compatibility leads, so... Wow, hold on. Is this going to be one of the motion control ones then? Because I don't see directions. I see two things here, unless that's... Ha! Huh, don't know. You find find... Oh, oh, hello. One of the sides pushes in as well. That's very interesting. Looks like the auto fire button on the bottom is seized, but we'll take a look at that. That should be fun. Ooh, some kind of amp. It's a broken winding. I where that went to originally. Two power regulators. Very interesting. So there's obviously power in there. Huh. That'd be fun to break down and work out what it is. Oh, another one. Some kind of serial adapter. 
PS2 there. Oh, there's a what's like a compact flash or card reader at the bottom. And that mega in there, so there's some code going on. Huh. Another interesting one. Hmm. Oh, very neat. <laughs> A little uh, IBM PC desk toy. I like that a lot. Oh look, little pull out keyboard. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, and some batteries that don't look like they've gone green, so that's good. We'll work that out. Ah, well, it looks like there's a game to it because it says shooting on it. Very cool. We'll work that one out at some point. This is the, uh, the NES Zapper, or rather the Famicom Zapper. Uh, I've only got a NES one, uh, and most of my games are on Famicom, so that was less than useful. That should be cool. I assume it is. Anyway, yeah. Very, very cool. That's very nice. Little Game Boy Watch. <laughs> nice. Yeah, time's right as well. <laughs> oh, very cool. Hold on. It started! I don't know what we did to start it, but it started. <laughs> we must have actually pushed down on something. Oh, two slightly heavier things. Yeah, so this is the BBC Bridge computer. So it's a, a kind of console designed to play bridge with different versions of bridge. Um, Tomorrow Arcade and uh, RMC did uh, quite good videos on this if you want to know more um, I might do one myself of course now I have one <laughs> oh my word oh wow a big old Sony cassette player uh, a bit of home in LGR with all that, that wood panelling there that's nice. Give that a bit of a clean up, that'll go well with the collection of tape drives. Excellent. A little handy dandy carrying handle if you uh, don't want to completely break your wrist by lifting it. That yeah, that was this is genuinely most of the weight of that box. <laughs> and I would imagine it works. Well that's that. That was a very, very generous little box there. Thank you very much, Pete. Oh, all right, well, that's the unboxing. That's quite cool. Uh, lots of bits from from Pete, which will uh, absolutely have a home in my collection. Some things that I get to play with and work out exactly what they are. I imagine that one will be a lot easier. It's got a load of markings on it. That one is definitely some kind of amplifier. This absolutely behemoth SCART lead, which is really just well built. I didn't realise they, they, they had SCART plugs on tanks, because I'm fairly certain that's what that's for. It's a very odd controller, which will be fun trying to work out. This uh, rather awesome Game Boy watch, and this also awesome desk toy, uh, and there's also the MSX, obviously, which I got myself, and that's uh, 
too big to put anywhere. Oh, and uh, the thing that took up most of the weight of the box. <laughs> this rather wonderful Sony cassette player it is very nice. It's 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 a definitely a, a piece of its time. <laughs> These giant chrome knobs, are lovely. <laughs> awesome thank you so much Pete it's very nice of you um, yes anyway so the, the the MSX will um, at some point have a video um, I'll probably I might do, uh, do an electronics video on these as I, I try to work out you know exactly what they do and how they work that might be interesting if I can make it interesting I'll make a video uh, this I might do a clean up video on just so we get it nice and working although it's a Sony I'll it might even just work, to be honest. <laughs> Sony did. Uh, still do, obviously. Very good electronics. Um, and this one will definitely have a video working out this controller. Absolutely. Because um, I love me some, some weird-ass controllers, and that is absolutely weird. Right. Excellent. <laughs> Lovely unboxing. It's nice getting gifts. <laughs> I also today, although I didn't unbox it, and you can't quite see it, I got the, um, the GoTech that I actually ordered for the Sharp, and it's in a proper 3.5 inch casing, so that's now in the 7.25, am I able to move that, oh there we go, there we go, so that's now in the 7.25 chassis, although we still can't put it in, I still need to build a an overload, uh, an overhanging thing so it fits in, a lot of people won't have seen the video yet that describes that, You'll when you see the video next Saturday, It'll be more obvious what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't like the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to hit uh, the bell icon so you get told when we have new videos out, including new pieces on the Sharp, on the Sword, on a few other machines we need to do, including this MSX, of course, and these bits here. See you next time. The present is horrible. The future looks bleak. To get us through the week We're getting re-enthused Back to the past and the things we used We all know that our pasts were great Escaping the things that today we hate Getting re -enthused.